All right, so after making sure our timing mark on the camshaft pulley hasn't moved, we can now pull the pin on this grenade, <laughs> or this tensioner. Like that. Then, you can already feel it. But the books is to, uh, to get 8 millimeter Allen uh, key and get it in the tensioning roller and just apply 11 feet of pressure. You can use a torque wrench for this, but I'm just going by, by feel, making sure that this is fully engaged. All right, next we tighten these bolts now with the camshaft holder on to, to 41 foot per pound. Next we get our uh, camshaft holder off and we put our 24mm uh, 12 point uh, socket on the crankshaft and start turning the engine clockwise. You want to turn it, turn the crankshaft two full rotations and then check your timing on the crankshaft and also see that the camshaft holder fits back on there properly. Alright so I rotated the engine <clears throat> and the camshaft holder fits on there perfectly and our time uh, timing mark on the crankshaft probably also lined up just about right. So yeah, I think that should do it. Now we just basically uh, put everything back together. I'm not going to show you that because it's basically just reversal of uh, removal. And uh, I think that should all cover it. And just uh, so yeah, make sure you put the uh, coolant back in the car. Well, actually we already did to check for leaks and um, just make sure you keep adding uh, coolant to it and you bleed the system. You open your, uh, your heater and uh, while the car is warming up, it's going to burp and uh, make sure if you can keep your coolant reservoir at the high higher than the rest of the car or the rest of the engine. So that way it works as uh, easier to bleed the system. And then, uh, yeah, that should do it. You know, actually, it's a good idea to, once you put the covers, the lower covers back on and stuff, go ahead and start your car. Make sure nothing is going to catch, you know, cables or vacuum lines are in the way. And, uh, you know, you don't have to hook up that, uh, that, the uh, the drive shaft for the alternator. You can just start your car, see how it runs. You're gonna get a check engine light for the alternator and stuff. But uh, you know, if you can keep it running for at least 30 seconds or so, you if you have any if you have the timing wrong, you're gonna get a check engine light for a camshaft sensor of some sort, or you know something something along those lines. So that way you you don't have to put the whole thing back together and then take it out do the timing again if you did something wrong. All right, and uh, yeah, you know if you really want to double check, make sure. Um, you don't do the timing wrong. Go ahead and crankshaft, crank the, turn the the crankshaft multiple times. Make sure nothing is binding or, you know, <laughs> your pistons aren't hitting your valves or something like that. But if you follow what I just did, you should be all right. Okay. So yeah, I hope this video helps people out there. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. If you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.